which is like Chill, bro. the Wait, beginning. Can we watch the right a little bit? Sorry, everybody. Ooh, this is way better. Okay, sorry, everybody. We're just we have a new setup. <laughs> we have a new setup. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to Celeste's Corner. So today's video we've actually already filmed, but like it kind of sucked because this guy was moody, and then so I was, was tired. Kinda, it wasn't moody. Whatever. So I was kind of like reflecting off of his like negativity, I guess you can say. So we're doing this again because this is an awesome, you know, yep. story to tell, and we don't want it to be looking all negative. So as you can tell from the title below, we're doing the how we found out that we're having a baby. And so, first of all, we're going to start by saying that we found out very, very, very early. Like, people usually do not find out this early. So I found out when I was between two to three weeks. There were a lot of problems at the beginning because um, I, I knew I was only two to three weeks pregnant. And, um, okay, let's just say that these pregnancy little videos they're all going to be like tmi i'm not going to hold anything back okay anyways so my my period has never been regular so the last time i had my period i didn't have it for like three months before that so the way that they see how far along you are is from your last period so my last period would have meant that i was seven weeks pregnant not two to three and then they're like oh so we're gonna give you an ultrasound because at seven weeks we should be able to see something like it's not gonna be big but we're gonna see something and then we can like confirm exactly how far along you are and then i'm like bro like we're not seven weeks and nobody's listening to us like they think we're some kind of like immature like like teenagers or something yeah like they, i'm guessing the vibe came off that we didn't know what we were talking about they did the ultrasound and they're like we don't see anything we just see like the sack like there's there's no like baby yet which that wasn't surprising sense. to us and we're like we told you <laughs> <laughs> like we were telling you three weeks pregnant now how did we find out so very good question do you want to explain like the, sure I started to see some differences in Celeste, and I guess it wasn't very like like big differences. Yeah, it's gonna sound so weird, and every time I tell people this, they give me the same look, and I'm <laughs> sure you all are gonna have the same reaction. But the first thing that I started noticing was that her skin or her body was just more sensitive. Like, as in, I didn't want to like even touch her because she felt very delicate. And not even like sexually, like it was like anything, like, like to even hold this my right now, or even to like hug me, or whatever. yeah. Like, he was always like, "Oh, you feel weird." Like yeah, I would yeah, laugh, yeah. and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, it was just, <laughs> I, and there was no way of me ex to like explain that other than, yeah, she just felt very delicate, and that was the first thing I noticed. And then after, what was it? I was making a joke. I was like, "You're pregnant. Like you're yeah. definitely pregnant." And then we were just kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah, we kind of laughed at all. And then for me, it was, again, this is going to seem so weird for people that have never gone through this. But like, there's no way to explain it. But the best way I can explain it is I had weird period cramps. Now, this mm. was like, this was, was this beginning of the month? or I think it was the beginning. It was the beginning of the month, yeah. yeah. So, and I was supposed to get my period at the end of the month. So I'm like, why am I having these weird cramps now? The thing that was so weird about it that doesn't even happen when when my period does come is that I had cramps for maybe two like one to two hours every night, every morning. And they were the same thing. And like it was again the best way I can explain it is period cramps, but it was so different. And it was a little bit lighter and it was just like I don't know. It was just weird and like it was more cramping to be like down there more than like lower stomach. And I, I remember like, you complaining about that. You you were complaining about that for a while. Yeah, and I was like, mm -hmm. okay, that's weird. And then one day, um, we went to Dollar Tree for some other stuff, and then on Eggington, <laughs> you already know the one with the with the the fresh go. Yeah. If you're from Eggington, you know what I'm talking about. This Canadian Tire, Canadian Tire right beside it, it's right there. But yeah, 
yeah okay so we went there for some other stuff and then i, w I saw the test and i was like you know what why don't we just grab it because it was random and i'm gonna stress this part out it was random yeah and even i was telling her like it's it's so stupid that you're gonna waste a dollar something on a test that's yeah. obviously gonna say no and then i was also like it's dollarama like blah 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 yeah so then i was like no so things tell me to grab it and i i always listen to my tuition um like just my gut feeling if something tells me to do something or something tells me not to do something i listen to it and more than like 90 percent of the time i'm right so see i didn't even think i was going to be right though i thought it was going to be negative he thought it was going to be negative no. so we came home and um he was on the phone on a business call and he was on hold for like how long were you on hold? Like an hour <laughs> and then so i went to the bathroom to take the test and then which didn't take an hour she just did it like towards the end of my waiting period yeah so. and then so you know i go pee i, I pee a little stick and then um you know i put it i put it like on the on the sink beside me and i was i just finished up my business and like i kind of see on the corner of my eyes like two lines and i was like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, and then I you know, pull up my pants, flush the toilet, blah, blah, wash my hands, and I still see two lines, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then, so I was like, babe, come here, come here, and then he's like, no. He's giving me attitude, he's like, no, I'm on the phone. And like, It wasn't I, attitude. Yeah, I'm it just, was. I'm talking to, like, a representative for something important. No, but he was on hold. He wasn't even talking to anyone. I was. No, you're on hold. No, I started the conversation and said, yes, hello, my name is Hector Campbell, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and then they put you on hold. Whatever. Okay, anyways. And then, so, yeah, and so I just came into the room because I was getting really frustrated. And then I walked up to him, I grabbed his phone, and I hung up. And then I, like, excuse me, burping, pregnancy, okay, anyways. So, um, <laughs> so I grab his hand, and he's like, what? And I'm like, come here right now. And then we went to the bathroom, and then like I was just like, bleh, bleh, bleh. and then I was, he's like, "What?" You're you weren't really crying though. She, I know. She was kind of like sobbing, like like dry sobbing. <laughs> and then I look, and it's like I see the two lines, and I'm like, "What the hell does this mean?" She's like, "We're pregnant," and I'm like, "You're pregnant." And it was just so weird. But I was happy. It wasn't like I was I wasn't upset about her or, yeah, or bummed we were, out. We were never upset from the beginning. No, I was just like, okay, we're pregnant, like yay. Yeah. I'm happy with that. That's all it is. It's nothing and bad. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. No. So and I know that we would never be given anything in life that we can't handle. Mm -hmm. And this is just another challenge for us and we both had multiple cha challenges in our lives that may have almost like you know kicked us down and kept us down but yeah. we've always gone up from there we've always conquered our challenges and this is just another challenge for us and this is a challenge for us to do together yeah so. that's really all it is for making this video and that's why we're telling everybody and we just want to share with you guys our happiness and mm -hmm. want to tell everybody that kind of like to be I wouldn't say inspired, but if anyone's going through what we're going through, you know, don't give up. It's not the end of your life. Yeah. People always say that. People say, like, oh, everything's going to change. You're going to have nothing. And it's like, no, not really. Like, okay, maybe I'll stop going around with my friends every night. But <laughs> is that really so much to it's give away? It's not big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And another thing, if you guys, if any of you guys watching this are going through this situation, feel free to hit me up, or if you're mm -hmm. a guy even, hit him up on his social medias. Um, they'll be linked down below. Well, mine are always linked, but I can link his in this video. Yeah, mine will be linked. Um, so yeah, and I'm really looking for some like YouTube mommy community <laughs> people. So yeah, and I would also like to say that don't worry, we will be posting our regular videos like regular vlogs regular challenges like the channel is not really going to change the only thing that's going to change is there's going to be more pregnancy updates so i'm yeah. planning on posting um a video where it's all of my first trimester um symptoms mm. and then once i hit my second trimester which i'm not now i think yeah, yeah. technically now so once i start 
well I started my second trimester anyways I'm gonna do um, bi-weekly videos of updates Hopefully we will gain a bigger audience and I can start doing you nows and like maybe like every Saturday night or something like that, like something cool like that and you guys can ask me questions. I know we have a small community so I'll be able to answer like every question in the in the comments. The comments you know? section. That make sure you guys subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the bell icon because sometimes we don't get notified of our favorite youtubers when they post so we have to hit the bell icon and make sure you guys share this news to all your friends and family and let them subscribe to the channel because we could really use it and so we hope you like this video and stay tuned for bigger dreams and yeah, fun a, things a whole new chapter a whole new thing for this channel basically yeah. that's it so thank you for watching. See you guys next time on Test Corner.